Welcome to Life in Huatulco. And this is a rerun. It's been re-edited and it has a lot of good information about life in Mexico too. And any prices here do not apply. So let's get to our video. And Fred and I would like to show you some pointers and tips about shopping at the grocery store for dry goods and staple goods in Mexico. Be sure and check out these prices and analyze. Get paper and pencil. I have two requests. First, write down the names of products that you're going to see, the types, and then if there were some that I didn't get for you that you want the prices on, put it in comments and we'll do a part two. Number two, I want you to notice the difference between store brand versus name brand product prices and to note the difference between American products and the ones that are made in Mexico. And one more thing, please make note of the different products that I say this is a good brand. That's the one you're probably going to want to try. You ready to go? We're going to start with cereal. Corn flakes. Kellogg's. $2.10. Brand. Now we've got brand flakes and then we've got special brand. $2.48 for the flakes and $2.51 for the special brand. Here's different uh, milks. There's three. This is low fat. It's Lala. It's a good brand. It's a dollar three. And then Lala whole milk is going to run you 98 cents. And then we've got both light and low fat together. And it's also Lala, which I recommend, and it runs you a dollar three. They're all types of milks there. And they're in a box that you just refrigerate after you open. Don't get fooled by this one. It's just a milky drink. That's all it is, a milky drink, and it's 44 cents. Uh, a loaf of bread, and this is the large loaf, $1.84. Now, Pronto is the name for Jello there, so you have your Jello and your pudding mixes, and they're 36 cents. Oatmeal. We've got Quakers, and then we've got it in bags like rice, for example, and that runs. A dollar fourteen. Here's just one of the spreads that you can get because I know a lot of people enjoy this spread and it's pretty expensive in the United States. It's two seventy two. My favorite instant coffee, Classico Nescafe Classico. You'll love it, and it's four fourteen. And here's the ground coffee. I mean, you can get it for an emergency, but you're living near probably plantations with amazing coffee if you come here to Huatulco, but this runs $3.99. Flour tortillas. We have a 22 count for $1.16, and we've got a 13 count for 67 cents. And there's a lot of things you can do with flour tortillas. This is the squeeze mayonnaise. Lots of different types of mayonnaise here. And this particular one runs $1.34. Tomato puree. This one's got condiments in it. And it runs $1.04. And they sell it by the kilo. It's not a liter, it's a kilo. Himalayan salt, pink Himalayan salt. Now we have a lot of gourmet spices here, so you don't have to worry about that. Chickpeas, garbanzos, and these run you 71 cents. I like to buy my uh, mushrooms in the small cans to add to different prod, uh, things that I'm cooking, and it's going to run you 60 cents a small can. We have full circle, organic full circle. It's expensive, but that's what you like. That's fine. Sweet peas at $1.93. Here we've got beans in the can, black beans and Mexican ranch beans. The black beans, 67 cents, and the Mexican ranch style beans also will run you 67 cents. This is a cooking oil that you really don't want to get. I'm showing it to you, but it's just a mix of oils. And um, 
not probably the best thing if you're looking for healthy eating, $1.13. Black beans, dried black beans, the Chidrawi brand, which is a good brand, or I buy it, and it's a dollar for a bag. Here's a Mexican name brand for rice, Verde Valle, and it's a dollar twenty-two. Or you might want to consider getting the Chidrawi brand of rice, and it's usually on sale. 67 cents US. A better oil, it's canola oil. And that's going to be $1.29. Now here we have the olive oil and they're, and they're all different types and brands. I'm going to start buying Selectil as my son recently suggested to all of us. But these two types of olive oil are in the $9 range. And you get quite a bit of it. That's it. Be sure to subscribe and share and hit like to help our channel out. Will you be booking flights, hotel rooms, or a cruise? Use our link below to help us out. Do you need to be able to read your mail while you're living in Mexico? Do you need travel insurance or health care insurance in Mexico? Would you like to book a live chat to answer your questions? Check our links below. Life where? Go!